interesting final opponent for this match. <clears throat> Can't honestly say that I'm too surprised. I think most of the uh, opponents are randomized. I think they just have a set of people that you can play against and they kind of just cycle through them for the entire tournament. Uh, but they all are characters with really high power. Don't remember this guy being really super strong, but now that I think about it, he did um, uh, conflict with, I think Momo was for an, and they were both trying to be extremely powerful and smacking the shit out of each other, so that does make some kind of sense. I don't even remember this guy's name, quite honestly. Uh, I've really sort of evolved into being really lazy at this. Wow, that was really bad. It's important why I don't even look up characters' names anymore, but I mean... I'll go more in depth of once I actually get to play as the character, I can do that a little bit more. Uh, cause I haven't really done any character breakdowns in a while because I haven't really played with a lot of characters that I haven't recently or uh, previously introduced. Uh, I've been using Ryoma, this is like my third time using goddamn Ryoma. But I think I may only to use him once or twice more, I don't think I'll have to use him that many more times. Uh, that was not great. Alright, well, so I can't really say much about actually using Ryoma because the only time I actually was able to use Ryoma was the tournament. Oh, I don't remember what tournament it was, but it was a tournament before this where I actually did get to use him and like I was able to like actually use him, whereas oh, now I have the fear of losing every single time. So I have to go super mode every second. Alright, let's try that again. Shouldn't be too hard because uh, I don't really actually know that's a lie. Uh, you typically with most of these characters they have really low speed. Uh, he is a little quick which I think translates to acceleration. Because uh, your speed and it, speed doesn't really to Maybe it does actually, yeah, no. Speed actually relates to ball speed, now that I think about it. Um, no, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> there is a staff for ball speed, there you go, yep, yep. Speed, I think quick is just how quickly you can uh, gain momentum uh, and sort of like lateral movement across the court, whereas a speed, or sort of quick is that where speed is just overall top speed, how fast you can move. I believe that's how that works. And there's also ball speed. Uh, but what I'm trying to get at is that usually these characters have really low speed. Uh, this guy not so much, he has low quick, which is more or less around the same. Uh, but all I'm really trying to get at is that I should be able to hit some good winners if I hit some good angles. Uh, and I should be able to avoid his power, but fortunately since this is in medium, it's actually pretty hard to actually go about that. I might actually have to just give him one of these. Just so I can get and stay in the game, because I really need to stretch these points out so I can try and get the super mode in this first... Uh, wow, nice. In this first game, so that later on I can kind of just brush through him really quickly. But it all really depends on how well I do in the first game. Oh, dang it. And how well I can mash the taunt button. Because <laughs> you can't use it off your well. You can't use it off your first hit. Uh, you have to, like, rally back a hit, a hit that your opponent hits. Uh, or something like that. I don't know how to explain it. You have, to, you, you have to rally for a bit before you can actually just start taunting. Oh my god, not again. I was doing so good serving-wise, too. There we go. Yeah, because he has really low quick moves, so he's not able to really get those corners that I keep aiming for, because that's pretty much all I ever do in serving. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but that's literally my... Once more, with feeling this time. <sighs> Come the fuck on. <laughs> Alright. There we go. The shame, that one was really good. I was getting a lot of uh, surface aces, but I guess I won't be able to get that anymore. Um, in any case, the point I've been trying to get at is that I should be able to get through this guy pretty quickly if I hit angles. 
Uh, but that's basically the majority of my game because just cause, like, why would you not? <laughs> uh, you know, the pinnacle of uh, tennis is to hit extreme angles uh, to make it difficult for your opponent. So obviously, I go for the most extreme angle, which is why often I'll end up uh, running to the ball and running off in the wrong direction because I try to. Oh boy, gotta just give him that one. Try to just get the most extreme angle as early as possible, uh, or as quickly as possible as I can, and that often ends up in me mistiming everything. Nice. Well, sort of nice. There's a small chance that his serve might actually knock the racket out of my hand, so I gotta be really careful with that. But I should be able to, uh, or I'll just be really good at returning. <laughs> That'll be the, that, that's the two things that I've really realized in uh, playing this game when it comes to tennis games. Uh, is that my main sort of playing points, oof, I hit it right before bounce, otherwise that would have been perfect. Just barely. Uh, my main things are serving really wide. Uh, like consistently <laughs> it's the only way I'll serve is really wide just because the computer there's no other way for you to get services you can't serve down the line at least not well in this game and the only other game I really ever play is uh, Mario Tennis and you can't really do much of that they, well sometimes you can serve down the line I don't know damn it uh, in any case it's between that and uh, just being really good at service returns. Those are my two sort of main tactics for winning in tense video games. Whereas in real life, it's kind of not the same thing. <laughs> it's more of just me <clears throat> running around, wear, trying to wear down my opponent. Uh, often not because I want to, just because I'm able to hit a good winner. Because I am... Uh, I don't know, I'm not very good at closing out, I guess. Uh, and when it comes to returning of serve, I have these weird, weird tweaky issues that I've talked about before that sometimes I'll just be unable to completely, even though I'll be able to get to the ball and everything on time and everything's hunky dory, I'll just be completely in Let's just fix this up. I'm way too irritated with this guy, making me waste my damn time. But yeah, I wanted to try and become a lot better at that because I feel like I have pretty good reaction, or not reaction, but reflexes is what I believe I want to say. Pretty good reflexes when it comes to receiving serve, uh, but I don't think in general I'll be able to do a really great job because I don't really have experience returning really fast or really good serves. Uh, I, for the most part, just have experience returning most of my friends' serves, and they're not exactly like pros or anything like that. Uh, they barely play uh, tennis as it is. Um, and I really, when I play against actual people that are either around my level or above my level, it's usually just rallying. We don't often get into real actual matches where I have to serve, because I try to avoid that as much as possible, because my serve is horrible. Obviously, I should be doing the opposite, but uh, it also means that I don't really have too much of experience returning serve. Uh, I don't think I'm horrible at it, I just don't think I'll be necessarily able to say that's one of my main strengths right now, um, just given my pure lack of experience. I just realized this is a final match, it hasn't felt like a final match, it's felt like almost like just four random guys have just uh, come up and challenged me in this entire tournament because uh, I feel like all the other ones they kind of progressed a little bit forward whereas most of these um, matches for this maximum impact tournament even though they should be a lot harder than the previous ones they've all been kind of more or less the same it might also be just because of the, the sort of character progression was extremely random so in any case, let's go ahead and finish off this guy. Haven't been too psyched about this tournament uh, as soon as I found out that I had to do this stupid uh, racket KO nonsense. And <laughs> I need to use Ryoma to unlock, I think, who was it? What's his name? Kirihara. Yeah, I have to use Ryoma to unlock Kirihara, and Ryoma has garbage for grip because 
apparently if you're left-handed, this game thinks you have shit grip. I don't know if that's necessarily a thing, I don't understand why it would be. But in any case, uh, had I not had to deal with this nonsense, I would have liked to actually play this normally, but I guess we'll save that for the next tournament. Let's go ahead and just finish this up real quickly, there we go. Perfect. I don't even think in any of the games that I played in this match, uh, in this tournament, that for any of them I actually lost any points, uh, aside from the ones where I just had to restart the entire game because of the fact that, or the entire match I should say, because of uh, me uh, getting racket killed. But let's uh, speed through this real quick, or maybe not so much. Uh, there's not really. Stay fresh. 